the kids get to eat their favorite foods. Tonight, it's fried chicken and mac and cheese. This water represents the inside of your body, and this bread represents going down into your body. These repeals represent lecture. Uh, uh, I'm done. Our kids will never eat anything like that unless they done been enticed by a friend who is overweight. I couldn't even sop the grease out of the uh, chicken enough to eat it. At the Hollands, Joy has ruled the family eat healthy food all week. She's prepared grilled fish, wheat pasta, and vegetables. You're not going to come eat? Only if she fixes me chicken and that's not going to happen. Where's Curtis? In the bed. See. You forgot that in the big freezer? But the, here it is. I'm glad you gave it to me because this is... No, you're not! This is garbage. I made dinner. It looks so nasty! You haven't tried it yet. But that's so stupid. Curtis, how about the one? I care! So you would rather just give in and let him get what he want instead of enforcing a rule? If you don't like it, you can have your nuggets. I cannot sit at this table. There's no denying that my kids are spooled as rotten as they could be. But it is a super feeling to hear them laugh, and that's the greatest feeling in the world. At the Browns, concerned Seven and Lauren have no quality time with their parents. Ginger enforces her rule that they make a poster to show Sarge what they think of him and Joy. What's one word that describes your mom? Vegetables. Vegetables. Fast. Has cool uh, sunglasses. And this is what they come up with. You ate vegetables, mm -hmm. you ate fruit, you were good at basketball, and you wore pants. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to say I'm their daddy. I mean, this is love that they are recognizing are good qualities. Okay, if you're cool with that, I am. I don't think that an eight and a six-year-old, they're really not gonna express themselves as Ginger indicated. They expect to be loved. So therefore, they're loved. They're not unhappy kids. Next, Sarge.